So I made this TikTok preset and today I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to use it, and some other cool things that you can do with it. Cue the intro. Okay, so we unzip the file and we got instructions just in case anyone forgets anything. But basically, you're just going to double click on the DRFX file and then um, you'll get this. Do you want to install it? Yes, you do. And, and there you go. That That's it. End of video. I'm just kidding. Here's the thing. It's not going to install into your normal effects library. So if you browse through this, you're not going to see it. It's actually inside of Fusion. So if we open up Fusion, go to effects templates fusion tools you'll see we have a new folder called dax and if we open this hey we got we got tiktok but that doesn't really do us any good because we don't have any media here so let's go back to the edit page so the very first thing that we have to do is create a timeline specifically a vertical resolution timeline so right click somewhere in your media pool go to timelines create new timeline and then you're going to uncheck use project settings Go to format. You'll have this use vertical resolution. If not, uh, just swap these two numbers around. If you're on 18.5, mismatch resolution is going to change to scale full frame with crop. Originally, it would be scale entire image to fit, and that shouldn't make a difference. But if you do run into any problems, just change your mismatch resolution settings. So now we can take our media, drop that into the timeline. Anyways, we're going to open up Fusion, then we're going to go to effects, templates, Fusion, tools decks we got our tiktok we're gonna put our tiktok right here but ba bam it's formatted everything for us i just realized that i'm not using a video with a face cam give me one second okay now we have a face cam all right just going over the controls real quick everything is pretty self-explanatory like gameplay well that's this video right here we can make it bigger we can make it smaller we can move it left we can move it right but the face cam is a little tricky and, and not really it's just if i check this button to turn the camera on nothing happens if i hit a line that happens and that's because DaVinci Resolve doesn't know where your face cam is. So you have to select that yourself. What I suggest doing is clicking on media in one, then hitting one on your keyboard. And now you can see your video before it was formatted. Then you can grab one of these four masking tools and use it to select your face cam. I'm going to use the rectangle and then I'm going to take the output of this, connect it to the white arrow, and then you can use window one to reposition your mask and you can use those outlines to resize it. So now with the TikTok node, we can check camera and then hit a line. Ba bam! Now the very last thing that I wanted to go over as far as controls is the format settings. By default, it's set to 1080 by 1920. That gives us this vertical resolution. But if you had a 4K video, well, you you would just plug in those values so that way it matches your timeline settings but anyways once you're done formatting your video you can go back to the edit page and just edit like you normally would now the entire point of this is to speed up your workflow and it would really suck to have to do this every single time so there's a few different ways that you can save these settings to access them in the future what we're going to do is highlight both the rectangle and the TikTok node right click go to settings save all as and then label this something that you can easily remember and then in the future when you add a new TikTok node you can right click it go to settings load and then select that TikTok preset now you'll notice the face cam isn't here but all we have to do is hit a line and it snaps to the top but here's the thing we don't have that rectangle anymore we're limited to just the TikTok controls so if you want to make adjustments in the future you have to save this as a macro just like before we need to highlight both our mask and the TikTok node right click but this time we're going to macro then create macro in this page we can add controls to our macro so you might want things like the center the width the height and then all of the TikTok controls but don't worry if you don't add any controls because we can access them in the future label this something you can remember then go to file, save as group. Now, instead of adding a TikTok node and then loading up the settings for it, we're going to hit shift space and then search for that preset. If the node doesn't get added in automatically, you can hold shift and then drag it over the pipeline. And then when you release, it's connected. But anyways, because we added controls, guess what? We have controls off to the right here. We can make adjustments to all of the settings that we check. But if you didn't, this would just be blank. 
So how do you access the controls if you didn't add any? Well, you can double click on this node group and then you have access to the controls in each node. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord and either myself or one of the editing helpers can help you. Also, a big shout out to the big gassy members. Keep it stinky. Okay, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.